people on it. Make sure y'all recording this shit too. And let's talk about what Brandy knew and when this shit started, because I know when it started. Brandy is Jordan's side chick who he's been fucking while I was pregnant. She claims she didn't know anything and she would, she would never do anything trifling. Let's talk. Let's talk. First of all, y'all did not start fucking in May after my son was born. You started fucking Jordan in February. Well, I was, what would that have been, like eight months pregnant? And I know when you started fucking him because he hit up somebody that you used to fuck, who I won't name because it's a well-known person and I'm not going to throw that person under the bus. But he hit that person up and said, is it cool if I smash this bitch too? Because I know you fucked and we're friends, right? And he said, yeah, it's a side piece. Go ahead, do whatever you want. Started fucking you in an Airbnb that he had rented out as a studio while I was pregnant since he couldn't play loud music in our apartment, but had you in there getting smashed the whole time. Now, bear in mind, while my housekeeper comes to clean this Airbnb for these motherfuckers, there's nobody in there the whole time but Jordan and his couple of little friends. She cleans every single room, no one's in there, leaves, says goodnight, forget gets her vacuum, comes back in, and who's sitting on the couch looking like a ghost? Brandy. You were sitting in there. You were. You, girl, you were in there, hiding, hiding from my housekeeper for an hour while she cleaned a whole house that you knew you shouldn't be in. We're fucking a whole man that was living with a whole girlfriend pregnant with a baby that he asked for. That's the shit you were doing, and you knew what was going on. You knew wow. we were together. That's or crazy. why the fuck were you hiding? Tell me that. Why were you hiding? I know when y'all started talking. Ben knew when y'all started talking. Caught you out there. Went off about the shit. Tried to do the best thing since I was already pregnant. I kept my pregnancy hidden the whole time. I never wanted to keep my pregnancy hidden the whole time. I thought once I started showing that I would be able to announce it and be happy. But this man kept saying that he was dropping an album. And that he didn't want uh, my baby announcement to interfere with his album and whatnot. And I was trying to be supportive and was cool and went along with this like an idiot. And missed out on a lot of shit. A lot of shit that I missed out on trying to support this man. Fuck this man. While you had this girl hidden in an Airbnb. While I'm sitting at home pregnant. Alone thinking. You know what? I'm not going to say shit. Because I'm trying to be supportive. I don't want to seem like I'm nagging or harassing. Whatever the fuck. Damn, don't be nice to people y'all. Because they will take advantage of your kindness. This bitch knew very well what was happening. We had a huge fight. I'm not even going to get into what happened at that fight. I will spare you Jordan. I'll spare you that. I'll spare you that for now. I leave because I got scared and came to LA. He begged me to come back. I came back five days later, go up to our apartment and I see all my shit has been put, all my personal photos of my family and shit in our, in our bedroom has all been put in my son's nursery with the door locked. Weird. So I go into his side of the closet and I see that there is a girl's little roll along suitcase in there with some makeup and dirty old trashy underpants. You need to buy new drawers too, girl, now. Come on. Come on now. Because those shits were raggedy. I will give you $50 and you can get five for 50 from Victoria's Secret now, okay? So this is what happened, right? So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know who this bag belongs to. He's like, it's just a model. I have some models in the house right now because I knew that we were about to move out anyway and get a house because fuck this apartment. That's all it was. Ah." Obviously, I'm not a dumb bitch. I know that you're doing some weird, suspect, fucked up shit, but I can't know who the girl is, so I couldn't couldn't do much about it at the time, right? Mm -hmm. So I go back to LA, and he's still coming, still fucking me. Just fucked this motherfucker last week, actually, swearing that you're in love with me and that we're working on a family. Uh, We're getting a house in Atlanta next month, right? And fuck this shit. I shouldn't be in LA anymore. We're going to be a family. Fuck Brandy, right? You don't talk to Brandy. That's what you said to me two days ago. Fuck that bitch. She ain't shit. She was just a bitch you were fucking because I wasn't talking to you and you were lonely and bored. That's that's what it is, right? That's what you just said 48 hours ago about this bitch. Anyway, back to Brandy and her trifling ass and her lying bullshit. And don't get me wrong, we're holding we're holding my baby daddy accountable too, but I just wanna you y'all to know she is a trifling ass bitch too. Do not listen to what this bitch is saying, okay? You knew damn well you were fucking a man with a pregnant girlfriend. Knew damn the fuck well. Damn well. He comes out here begging to be with me. I block him. 
I block him. We get in a fight, I block him because he's not doing what the fuck I want. I don't think he's doing shit. Hi, Raven. And yeah, and Raven went and checked yeah, this bitch. Raven was there. She pulled up to the house. She was there. She knows. Ask Raven. Uh, She's on here. Ashes crazy bro she's on here we could have beat your ass but we up. didn't i didn't do yeah. that to you i let you leave thinking you know what L let me let this girl leave because it's really him that's trifling and now she knows now she knows maybe she'll stop doing the shit she never stopped doing the shit never did stop though you never did stop calls me when i blocked him from all the numbers he could call on calls me from this this dumb motherfucker calls me from her number this bitch lets me let lets this man call me to beg to be with me from her fucking number raven spared you because we were gonna beat your ass at three o'clock in the morning and instead you just were out there with no shoes on on the street at 3 a.m looking fucking stupid like a trash bag whore that you are that's what the fuck happened. That is what happened. Let's get back into it. Let's get back into Miss Brandy who didn't know and would never do that. Let's get let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. Oh, who is Brandy? She's a side chick. That's who she is. A side chick that, like all side chicks, claims that she didn't know and she would never do that. You know my character. I know your character, bitch. So let's talk about your motherfucking character. Let's oh, talk because I told crazy. you so many times that this was what was going to happen if y'all kept on with your bullshit. So here we are. Let's tell everybody about your fucking character. Calls me from this bitch's phone, thinking that I won't do some reverse call detective lookup shit. I do. I see whose name this number is that he's called me from. Hmm. Weird. Brandy. Look it up on online. I see this bitch. I hit her up messaged her hey uh you know what's up are you talking to my are you talking to my boyfriend what does this bitch do blocks me blocks me didn't hit me back oh who what uh no you blocked me blocked me straight away because you were caught out there again yeah that's pure Blocked guilt. me you that's knew what the fuck guilt. it was so all i could do is hit up jordan ask him what the fuck nothing it's nothing that's not that's just my friend that's just my home girl i know it's not just your home girl because you got a type motherfucker you got a type? Brandy looks just like your ex Ruby. Please, I know that you're fucking her. I'm not retired. I'm not I'm not dumb. I'm not done. Onyx is having a nap right now. He's having his mid morning nap, so he's good. He's in his room. That's why we're doing this now. When he wakes back up, I'm gonna be with my So anyway, you knew damn well, right? Already get called out. I already hit this bitch up. She blocks me. He swears he's not he's not talking to her. It's not it's not anything like that. It's done, it's done. Keeps coming around, keeps coming to LA, keeps fucking me, keeps flying me out, saying he loves me. We're working on it. He's sorry he can't be around as much he, as he wants to. He's he's working on his album, but he's gonna be there and be a dad. It's about to drop. It's about to drop a hundred million times. You feel bad for his fans, bitch, feel bad for me. Cause this whole time he hasn't been a dad while we've been waiting. Yo. That's crazy, my nigga. And there you have it, yo, Cardi, bruh. I'm praying for you, my nigga. I just be born like rage, fucking your bitch every day. Keep a pack, never hop in the jet, cashing out, fell off the bank.